building is for HBCU schools to be able to come here and be able to try to get guys good offers. I'm trying to do something for that. This is big, right? So, so being able to come out here and, like I say, compete, uh, this is how you get recruited right here. Spanish be from uptown, I bought a bus down. <laughs> yeah, oh, then I keep, dame, dame to my chain and loca. In the kitchen, whipping that dope up, you can smell a hold up. Pug on pitch we gon' hit it like we Sammy Sosa. Put that Billy to the limit, you can smell a hold up. Ho, Spanish be, call me Chulo when I'm pulling up in that two dog. Diamonds, different color, Uno, all these hunnids on me, mommy, man, my pockets look like Sumo. I got money out there. Coach Randy Wharton with SAC High School Football Showcase. This camp is the HBCU High School Football Showcase. What camps and their showcases, man, the benefit for them is being able to come out, being able to get some exposure. Um, also, of course, the big goal is they're going to be able to get offers. No coach is going to know you if you're not being seen. Any type of exposure you get for student athletes, just give them the opportunity to come out here to compete, uh, get better, see different competition, and you know, potentially get on the recruitment boards. They sack on me, sack on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Being consistent a lot of time overrides being able to, to do all the great things. So they're consistent with their catching. They're consistent with their, as far as their route running, if they're playing quarterback, they're consistent while they're throwing. Those are, I think those are the main thing because most of the time a lot of coaches, they look for consistency. I've been going to the field, training with quarterback coaches, throwing with receivers at my school to make sure my arm is ready. Definitely keep working. Make sure when you get to this level, you don't take it for granted and say I'm in that level and give up. At the end of the day, you gotta keep it working and keep working. Never stop working. Because once you stop working, that's when you stop prevailing. I would just say work hard. Um, make sure you get stuff out there on the internet. Make sure you're posting like good things that are happening to you. And just you know, stay after it, stay after it. Um, don't give up. If you're on social media, um, especially like Twitter, and make sure you put everything on there. Height, weight, classification, put everything on there. Even your GPA, put put your um, your clearinghouse information, put all that on there. They'd be able to go through it a little bit easier and they'd be able to look at your stuff and get more. Don't like nothing crazy. Don't follow nobody crazy. And two, obviously you have a personal account and you have a football account. It's like having a business and a personal email. Keep things separated. Definitely for Twitter posting, workout clips, uh, football clips, stuff like that. You're trying to get recruited. You're trying to impress somebody. So to impress somebody, you want to put your best, your best stuff first. All right. And make sure you highlight yourself. All right. If you on the line, it could be four or five people on the line. So we got to make sure that you highlight it so we can see it. And then you want to make sure the clips aren't too long. All right. Nobody want to see the quarterback get all the way set and get right into the meat and potatoes, right into the play. Once you make that play transition to the next play. Proud of everybody today. I think everybody did really, really well today. Everybody bring it up one more time. Baby. Bring it up, bring it up. Right. Sack on me, sack on three. One, two, three, sack! Yeah.